Hey, this is Gregor Brown with Low Bikes. Here's what we witnessed from Belgian prodigy Rem Cuevenpool in Argentina at the Vuelta San Juan and what we can expect from him at the UAE Tour with his new team, De Kunit Quickstep. The UAE Tour is of course live and on demand with Low Bikes. In Argentina at the Vuelta San Juan, he made his debut. I was there for Flow Bikes, as were other journalists, including three from the Belgian media. They followed his every move. Evan Poole brushed off the pressure and said it was the same for all riders. I never became crazy about it from it, so it's just a normal thing that's, that's in cycling also. I think every sportman has also a lot of attention from the media, so it's the same for me, it's the same for the other riders. So. In stage one, he was already working hard at the front. He attacked once, later he skirted a crash. Such was his bike handling star rider, Peter Sagan complimented his moves. Like Peter Sagan, he told me for uh, how I was in the race, because I was uh, a lot in the front and uh, we had a little talk, a little chat together. And it's nice that the, the big riders all already respect me like that, so I just can have to respect them also, and yeah, I really liked it. Off the bike, around the race, he appeared cool and relaxed the way he handled the media. Uh, it's already the third victory of the team this year, so maybe we'll go for 77 again this year. In stage two, the small uphill finish to Punta Negra, he worked for teammate Julian Alaphilippe, helped him win the stage, stayed tucked in the group, and got that green Young Riders jersey. The next day in the time trial, he blasted all the early pace setters, including former hour record holder Matthias Brandl. He was only bettered by two other riders, Valerio Conti, and then of course his teammate Alaphilippe, who won the stage. In a sense, is it too early for you to win? You're 19 years old, is it too early? It's never too early, it can only be too late. He finally showed some experience on the Stage 5 Summit finish. Evan Poole's job was to watch Winner Anacona from Team Movistar, while Julian Alaphilippe stayed and watched other riders, including star rider Nairo Quintana. When Anacona attacked, however, Evan Poole was sitting near the back and missed the move. He responded with a massive two kilometer pull, but it was not enough. And Ancona got the stage win and gained enough time for the overall lead and eventual race win. Afterwards, I spoke with Al Philippe and the team, and they said Evan Poole's only job that day was to watch winner in Ancona. He missed the move and he learned his lesson. However, that's the reason team De Kuhn and Quickstep brought him to Argentina, to learn. Every single second in the peloton was a, a great lesson to me. And, uh... For sure, helping Julian on Colorado was uh, the biggest day of, of learning, I guess. I really pushed myself till, till the end and uh, I was totally empty after the finish line. So I think it was a really good day for me uh, to improve my level and to, to put some, some, yeah, some work in for the team. In the upcoming UAE Tour, Evan Poole will line up alongside stars Chris Froome and Vincenzo Nibali. He will race in the windswept, often hot stages of the Middle East, including two summit finishes, one to Jabal Hafid and one up to Jabal Jaz. You're doing the UAE Tour next. Is that where we can finally see, or we can see the first Remco win? Uh, I'm not going to talk about winning, but just doing everything uh, I can. And also in UAE, I will do everything that's in, in me. And that's following in the climbs, following, and then we'll see what happens. Remco made no secret when he won the World Championships last year as a junior racer. He wants to go on and win Grand Tours one day, and ultimately dreams of winning the Tour de France. We're going to be watching him with attention, but like stars Peter Sagan and Tom Boonen said recently, we shouldn't put too much pressure on him and give him time to develop. But from what we've seen so far, he seems to be able to handle the pressure both on and off the bike. Tune in to the UA Tour from February 24th to March 2nd here on Flow Bikes.